Hey guys, I really love the lighting right now. I mean, I've got no lights on, aside from that light on back there. But I've got um, I've got my balcony open so that I have some lighting behind you guys. So this video, as you can tell from the title, is going to be about products that I've finished or am about to finish and close to finishing. So I'm going to show you the first one. It is the mascara by Maybelline and it is the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. Now this mascara is kind of the opposite of the falsies. The falsies mascara has the purple with the bluish, greenish words. And um, comparing it to that, I would say that this one is a lot more about volume rather than length. The falsies mascara is much more about length. And for those of you guys who don't know, the falsies mascara is actually one of my favorite mascaras, but I would definitely compare this mascara to that in different difference of things that it's gonna do, but it's very good in quality, just like the Falsies Mascara. So if you like the Falsies Mascara, I think you guys would like this as well. Sometimes before I actually finish this tube, I would actually mix the two so that I could get longer and thicker lashes. I know the Falsies is supposed to just make it look like you're wearing Falsies in general, but um, I find that combining the two is actually a really good deal. And I didn't like this mascara at first. When I first got it, it was, I don't know, maybe I was just so used to my Falsies. But um, once I started using it some more, I really liked it. And I've actually found that when I first use a mascara, even if it is the falsies, one of my favorite, when I first get a new tube, it's not the same as it is after I've used it a few times. I don't know why that is, but that's just how I feel about mascaras. The second product that I've finished is the Milani Easy Brow Automatic Eyebrow Pencil. Um, it is in the color... I think there's only one color. Maybe there's two. I got this in the color dark brown and it comes with a little spoolie at the end which is really convenient especially for people who just like having things as easy as possible. I think this is one of the main reasons I got this. It's well worn. This actually came with a, a cover before but I lost the cover and I... It's one of those retractable clicky ones but I've used it all up obviously because this is products I've used now usually I'm not a person to fill in their brows a lot and when I do fill in my brows I'm a person who usually uses powder but because of convenience I wanted to try and get into using pencils. This was a really good pencil to start off with but it was really creamy. Um, getting used to it was a little hard but once I did it worked really well. It was very very creamy though as I'm saying if that's what you like by all means but I found that sometimes if I put on a little too much you could tell and it looked really waxy on my eyebrows. The NYX pencils I found are really good, the ones that you have to sharpen, however I don't like that you have to always bring a sharpener with you if you take your makeup on the go. The thing I liked most about this was its convenience. I did however like it enough to use it to the end so you know what that says about that. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this but I do still think it's a very good product. The next product is actually a favorite of mine and it is the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle. There's still a tiny little bit in there and I don't have a cap so I'm going to be careful not to make all of that splat out. Now the 3 Minute Miracle is a deep conditioner but I actually use it as a daily conditioner. I don't wash my hair every day but by I say daily I mean by the every time I wash my hair I use this as my conditioner. I ran out recently though and I when I went to Target I was actually trying to find this and they either had run out or I don't know where they put it because I couldn't find it and I ended up getting the Aussie Moist Conditioner, just the regular daily conditioner. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. I love the way it smells. If you don't like coconut, you're not going to like the way it smells because it smells like coconut. I, on the other hand, love the smell of coconut and so the reason, main reason I got this conditioner is for the smell. Also, I like deep conditioners because I don't wash my hair very, very often. Sometimes I'll go maybe four days without washing my hair. So when I do condition, I want a deep conditioner, especially because I use a lot of product, a lot of heat on my hair. I dye my hair, so you know, I try to keep it in good health. With this conditioner, I've also found that even if you do use it on a daily basis, because this is a conditioner I use while I was washing my hair every day as I would go to the gym, it doesn't get too heavy and it doesn't feel like there's residue left on your hair so you don't have to worry about that either so it's a pretty good balance of deep conditioner without getting too much gunk caught in your hair. The last thing that I had completely finished I think I ended up throwing away but it was a Rimmel retractable eyeliner pencil in black is black 
and if you watch any of my previous favorites videos it may be in that it is one of my all-time favorite eyeliners I don't have a new one because I'm currently using a Maybelline pencil that I have in my stash but if you've been watching my videos you know that that was one of my all-time favorite pencils and I am definitely going to repurchase it it doesn't smudge I use it on my tight line because that's the only thing I really use pencil eyeliners for but that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For those of you guys interested, I'm doing Vlogmas on my vlog channel, Ollivander Mo, which will be linked below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. That was really awkward.